Hi Vinyl Community, it's Michael. Welcome back to Near Wild Heaven. I know it's been a while since my last video. Um, I have back problems. Sometimes my back goes out and I just can't do anything. And this time it was particular, particularly bad. And uh, I was like laid up for about a week. But I'm doing better now and well enough to do a uh, video for y'all. Uh, this one's going to be um, online buys and recent vinyl finds from um, earlier in September. So start off with uh, uh, online buys and first up this is Traffic Sound. The name of the band is Traffic Sound. The album is called Virgin. This is great. This is really good. It's psych. Uh, the band's from Peru. So there's like uh, Latin rhythms over it all. But it's so good. Uh, it's more, it's not a hard psych. It's more of a softer side. There's acoustic guitars and flutes. And uh, they do jam on a few songs with the guitar. But a uh, great album, love it so much. Um, and I like this one so much, uh, I bought their other one. This one's um, just called Traffic Sound. I believe this is, this might have been before the first one, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, this one's a little bit more. Uh, leaning toward the harder sound um this is a weird thing it's triple fold and the record comes in like here kind of like a unipack um but really good more uh you know latin rhythms this one like i said this one's a little bit harder sound than the other one but both of them are really good and um, I'm so glad to have these now. Um, if you're interested, you know, check them out. The Traffic Sound. Uh, this album and this one, uh, Virgin. This one's more psychedelic than this one, uh, but they're both really good. So if you want to get into them, check them out. It's Traffic Sound. Um, up next. I got two of these. This is Pink Floyd. Uh, these are BBC recordings. This one's from 1970. It has five songs. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, five songs. Uh, it's really good. Really good sounding. The songs are Embryo, Green is the Color, Careful with that Axe Eugene, Adam Hart Mother, and If. Um, I hate these these flimsy covers, but really the only way you can get a hold of them. Here's the other one. This one is from 1971. Um, this has one of these days on side A, and side B is uh, Echoes, live, a uh, 25-minute version of Echoes, but really good. Really good sounding, good quality sound on these. Um, you can find them pretty easily online. Then most of them are relatively cheap. I got these at a website called Millions of Records, and they were both under $25. So really good. If you're into Pink Floyd and you like live Pink Floyd especially, these are pretty good to have. So check them out if you like them. All right. Uh, the next bunch are going to be stuff I found earlier in September at local record stores. And first up, this is Aphrodite's Child, uh, End of the World. This is their first album from 1968, I think. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is. It doesn't really have a date on here. But... Um, this is really good. Uh, the guy's voice reminds me kind of uh, the Bee Gees, like Robin Gibb. 
um, especially on the title song, End of the World. Uh, but this is like, it's mostly like prog, but it has psychedelic overtones to it. And it's really good. I really enjoyed this. Um, I'd like to find their other album, 666, which is supposed to be like a prog classic. But this one's pretty good. If you don't know about Aphrodite's Child, you might want to check these guys out. This is really good. It's called End of the World. So there you go for that. And up next, this is Thin Lizzy, Vagabonds of the Western World. I think this is their third album. This is a 2014 reissue. Uh, yeah, 2014 reissue. Um, I'm not a big fan of uh, Finn Lizzy, especially their later stuff that was like more commercial. But this is pretty good. It's like a blues rock, really good uh, guitar work, um, and vocals by Phil and I. Uh, just good stuff. I mean, if you like hard and heavy uh, guitar work, blues rock type stuff, this. This is a pretty good album to check out. Uh, Thin Lizzy, Vagabonds of the Western World. Uh, a little bit more modern. This is uh, L7, Scatter the Rats. I love L7. They're one of my favorite grunge bands. One of, one of my favorite bands of the 90s. Um, this is uh, a recent album for them. This is from 2019. And sounds pretty good. Uh, they reunited. They broke up probably in the early 2000s, I think. And uh, they just got back together maybe around 2015 or something. But um, this is good. I really like this. Um, I got the CL7. Um, they played, I think it was back in the 90s. When they were touring for their album Bricks Are Heavy, so that would have been about 95, 96, somewhere around there. But uh, yeah, I saw them, and the opening band was the Melvins, and it was a great show. But yeah, this is a good album. If you like uh, L7, you might want to check this one out. It's pretty good. Okay, up next. This is... The Vampires, Vampires Underground, this band is from South Africa, uh, there's not a whole lot of information about the band, there's a, there's a um, little bio here about the band, but it doesn't really mention any of the band members because they don't really know who they were, it just talks about, um, there was a scene in, uh, a music scene in um, a town called Durban in South Africa. Um, and it just talks about how all these bands played around in their own cities. They didn't really move out anywhere, uh, you know, try to get widespread recognition. They just played for fun and a few of them got the chance to make records and uh, this is one of them and this is really good lots of fuzz guitar uh, it's kind of mellow at parts they do a lot of covers and um, they do one of whole lot of love but there's no vocals to it oh there is a little bit but it, it's mostly all instrumental but it's done really well I really really like this a lot um, I don't know what else more to say about it, but it's pretty good. You, if you like African Zamrock and stuff like that, uh, you might want to check this one out. It's well worth it. Uh, that's Vampires Underground. Up next, this is Death uh, for the Whole World to See. This is really good. This is Proto Punk. It was originally recorded in 
1975. These guys were from Michigan. They were three brothers. Um, I think this is the only thing they ever released, but it, I don't think it was released at the time they recorded it. It was released later, but so good. Really good proto-punk, hard rock. Uh, songs like uh, Politicians in My Eyes kind of reminds me of the Bad Brains, but just great stuff. I'm sure other people have shown this and have it, but it's a great album to add to my collection. So I'm glad to have that. Uh, next one, uh, this is the soundtrack to Performance. Um, this is pretty good. There's uh, stuff on here by Randy Newman and Ry Cooter. And of course, uh, Mick Jagger does the song Memo from Turner. I guess Warner Brothers must have thought they would uh, sell more albums if they plastered Mick Jagger's space all over this. But uh, yeah, it's really good. Good soundtrack. Um, some uh, like incidental music from the movie. There's a little bit of dialogue, but uh, pretty good album. Uh, the movie, I can't say, is pretty good. Uh, I've seen it. It's really confusing to me. Um, everybody talks in like a Cockney accent, so it's kind of hard to understand what they're saying. Um, but it is what it is, you know. But the soundtrack is pretty good and worth checking out if you're into stuff like this. So there you go with that one. And up next, this is Alice in Chains. This is a radio broadcast bootleg. Um, this is live at the Sheraton Larina in Los Angeles. Uh, this is from 1990. Uh, there's the songs on here, I think, are all from their first album, like uh, Man in the Box, Bleed the Freak, uh, We Die Young. Uh, just good. It sounds really good, too. So if you like Alice in Chains, uh, this one would be a good one to seek out. It's pretty good sound and good live versions of their songs. So there you go for that. And next up, this is The Poppers, uh, Magic People. This is a band from Canada. This is pretty good. It's like pop psych. Um, this guy looks like Mickey Dolan's a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, I enjoyed this album a lot. Like I said, pop psych, uh, good harmonies. Um, they have another album called Ellis Island. I want to check that one out. But this one's pretty good. So if you like psych pop, in the late 60s um, you might want to check these guys out the poppers magic people up next uh, classic rock this is deep purple fireball this is from 1971 I believe and I don't know I think I'm pretty sure it's 1971 uh, and with the inner sleeve. Uh, hmm. Of course, it doesn't say on the album, but there you go. Uh, original Green Warner Brothers label. Uh, nice, clean copy. Really good, classic uh, Deep Purple. You know, I think this is the album that came out just before or just after Machine Head. Um, you know, it's a lyric sheet on the inside there. Um, this says uh, 1971. So, yeah, this one um, I believe is the one just before Machine Head. But classic album from Deep Purple. Good classic rock, hard guitar, 
Uh, really good guitar work from Richie Blackmore. Um, Ian Gillian on vocals. Uh, yeah, great stuff. If you like Deep Purple, you don't know about this album, you want to check it out. Really good stuff. And yeah, just a couple more here. Um, this is Killing Floor uh, out of Uranus. I know I've mentioned this album before I finally got a hold of it. Really good, hard rock, kind of psych at times, uh, blues rock, all that good stuff. I really like their first album. Uh, it's just called Killing Floor, but this one's really good too. Um, I don't know what more to say about it. It's just a great album. Um, yeah. Really good stuff. You might want to check this one out. Uh, Killing Floor, Out of Uranus. And finally, last one, more classic rock. This is Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, uh, Southern Accents. Pretty good. I've been trying to find all the early Tom Petty stuff and find them pretty uh, decently priced. Uh, when he first died, a lot of his stuff, a lot of these um, albums were like too high priced. But on the used stuff, the uh, prices are starting to come down. Uh, I picked this one up for about $10 and it's in really good shape. It's an original press. Uh, it's got some great songs on here. Don't Come Around Here No More. Dogs on the Run. Uh, Make It Better. Forget About Me. This really good stuff. Any Tom Petty fan probably already has this album. Probably likes it. One of their better albums. So, there you go. Um... Sorry I've been away for a while. Like I said, I've had back problems, but I'm doing all right now. Hopefully I'll be making more videos like within the next week or so. Um, I'd also like to thank everyone who subscribed to me in the last month. I really appreciate it. I hope everybody's doing well and enjoying your weekend and that's it for now, so take care, Vinyl Community, and I'll see you soon.